Last night, by the way, we ran an in-depth interview with Oregon's now former Senate President Peter Courtney. He was the longest serving lawmaker in state history and did not for run for re-election. So he's out. In fact, he's home now, raking leaves, trying to figure out what he's going to do next. He really, he told me that yesterday. Many of you enjoyed our conversation and sent nice comments about Courtney. One called in to leave us a detailed message that also brought some context to what Courtney was talking about when he talked about the good old days, when lawmakers would gather at night after a day of feuding and have some drinks and relax together. We don't normally include first and last names when we run your comments, but we are for this one. Hey, uh, my name is Frankie Bell. Um, I love the piece on Peter Courtney. Um, it has so much more depth than you were able to cover. Um, I've worked in the Capitol since uh, the late 60s. Uh, still working. I'm going to work uh, this legislature uh, as a House receptionist, uh, partly because I'm addicted. But uh, the other part is that uh, the story on Courtney was so wonderful. Uh, I just wish that you could have taken it a little bit farther in that uh, the camaraderie that he was talking about is why we got such good legislation. Um, I have no statistics particularly, but at least legislators were having happy hour together and talking to each other. And uh, now they're too busy. Uh, they don't seem to be able to do that. The ethics laws are work against it. At any rate, it, it's a good story, um, and Peter Courtney uh, saw it all. Well, after hearing that, we just couldn't get enough. Frankie sounded amazing, and I really wanted to meet her. A former lawmaker told me she's a legend in the Capitol, so I decided to try and track her down today. And sure enough, I found her on the second floor of the Oregon House in Salem. Ladies and gentlemen, Frankie Bell. Frankie is 85 years old. She's worked in the legislature since 1967. Those were the final years of Governor Tom McCall. Over the last 57 years, she's seen a lot of what happens behind the scenes and has a lot of wisdom when it comes to what works and what does not. I really hope lawmakers are smart enough to listen to her memories of how things used to be. The uh, mechanism for getting together in the old days was the good old days was just that they socialize together after work. Um, they don't do that anymore um, because of the ethic laws. They're afraid of, of, um, of, I guess, corruption. I don't know exactly what they're afraid of, but um, for that is a, a definite lack. Um, and uh, I've seen the, the whole process change over the years because of that. Um, they need to talk to each other in an informal setting, whether it is uh, at a dinner or a party. Um, it really helps. Frankie witnessed a fundamental truth about us humans. It's harder to demonize someone you know, someone who has the same hobby or likes the same sort of music or food or sports that you do, someone who laughed at your joke over cards the night before. Those are all reminders that we are all more alike than different, and that bond helps when making hard decisions on things like policy that will impact everyone in Oregon. In the 70s, when we passed all that landmark legislation, the Bottle Bill, the Beach Bill, the um, urban growth, urban growth every, all of that, land use planning, which is what you're talking about, um, and that was with a Republican majority. Uh, Republican House, Republican Governor Tom McCall. Uh, the Senate was a coalition, a conservative coalition. Democrats were in the majority. Um, but we passed all that landmark legislation. And I think it was because everybody got together in a, in a, after work and actually talked to each other. She's got really good wisdom there. It's been a while since the two political parties passed such generational laws and plans for Oregon. Maybe it's time, maybe it's past time, the two sides create something that regularly puts them together outside of work, like they did in the old days. Whether they agreed or disagreed. Uh, and they were friends. Um, so uh, 
I think they're friends now, they just don't get to talk to each other. There's just not a setting in which they get, get together regularly. Uh, they, go, they go to caucus, their own caucus, they get that point of view, uh, then they don't get to talk to each other in any other setting. Uh, perhaps when on the floor of the house, as they are just now starting to go. <laughs> And as it turns out, Frankie told me there's some sort of mixer or party going on tonight in Salem for lawmakers, but she said it's the only one of the entire year. That should change.